Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I am still Rex. I'm still Daniel. What, which one of these? We have a lot of bottles. Is it this one? It's the Whoopin' Holler Orphan Barrel. Okay, so this one. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, it's a whiskey. Yeah. And we're gonna have it. Yeah. There and, we go. Yeah. We're drinking a 28-year-old bourbon by request, Jason uh, Kutlinski. Kutlinski? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna guess on that one. Yep. Now, what he said was, I've been seeing this whoopin' holler orphan barrel in the background. Yep. Now, what he didn't know is he's not been seeing the orphan barrel in the background because uh, the orphan barrel's been over here off camera, but I do have the whoopin' holler orphan barrel. So it was in that locked case, so it's kind of a big deal? It is kind of a big deal, just because it's expensive and rare. How much? Uh, I'm gonna have to put it in the comments, I don't so remember. So spoiled, man. I know. You just... Um, so the orphan barrel is a bunch of Diageo guys, they're taking random barrels that were left over from other things and doing independent runs of them. Yeah. And this one is, I have rhetoric, and it's actually, I really like rhetoric. Uh, this is Whoop and Holler. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. Okay. Why? Um, because I think well, it's been... Let me experience it. Okay. And I will try try to now, guess this is, why. Now, this is from George Dickel. So this is Tennessee whiskey. Whew. This is 28-year-old Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee whiskey. Man, this... Wow, this is a bourbon that is sweet tarts. You know, this smells like it was stored in a tube suck. Golly. This, <laughs> Doesn't it? Take the sweetest bourbon you've tried, and then add another. Ever. Add another. Add uh, bubble gum. Double the double the sweetness. You remember those popsicles that were like the red, white, and blue popsicles? Oh yeah, I like the, the, and the, the ice cream with truck, the ice cream truck. And they yeah. kind of a funny shape to them. Yeah. I'm getting rocket. Back. They were called the rocket. Yeah, it says rocket yeah. popsicles. Oh. I'm getting uh, Spec laffy taffy. Specifically, it's banana the, laffy taffy. It's the red part of the rocket part of uh, popsicles. So you're getting more cherry, I'm getting more banana. Absolutely getting more cherry, man. Wow, that, God, it's almost so sweet that it burns. Yeah. I'm thinking cherry cough syrup, almost. Just on the nose. Oh. Haven't even tasted it yet. I remembered why I don't like it. It tastes like you licked cherry off the inside of a barrel. It's sour. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting sweetness to take my head off. No. It's actually sour. Ah. That won't go away either. And then the sweet tart aftertaste. Yeah, that, like, chalky yeah. sweet tart. Chalky sweet tart aftertaste. Um, yeah, don't, not good. So, here's, this could be people that are into that. Unique, kind of, but. Yeah, very unique. People that are into, like, those really sweet artificial flavors, they may like this. But I think it's a perfect example of whiskeys that are really expensive. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to like it. George Dickel 12. Okay. So this is theoretically what's in that bottle at 28. You don't want this in your mooch glass because you're going to get stuck with it. <laughs> that sounded really rude. <laughs> it better be horrible because I was denied whiskey. It's not horrible. I'm just not a big fan of George Dickel. So, um, the can thing we... about Tennessee whiskey, while well, you're drinking that, but you can see how that is this, but this tastes like it was so, you're sucking it out of a barrel. All right. Whereas yeah. this tastes like it's actual whiskey. You know, this is a, the tame version of the orphan barrel. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's no question it's the same whiskey. This, ju this just goes, what goes more far on the extreme end of the spectrum for these flavors. Yeah, see what happens, they took a barrel and then they uh, filled bottles with this. Yeah. And then afterwards, some guy chopped the pieces of the barrel up and then just like shoot it like corn on the cob. Yeah. And that's what this is. I think they got the barrel, they scraped out the <laughs> inside. <laughs> and then they squeezed it with a compress. <laughs> yeah, it's like blood from a stone. Hmm. Yeah, so, here, not my scene, man. Here's what makes Tennessee whiskey. Is Tennessee whiskey bourbon? Yes. Tennessee whiskey is usually bourbon. It's mostly corn. Um, but what makes it Tennessee whiskey mm -hmm. is that it goes through what's called a Lincoln County process. And that is that either before or after, or sometimes both, right. you put it in a barrel. Right. It is filtered through burnt uh, or maple wood charcoal. Right. So they burn pallets of maple down to charcoal pieces, tiny little pea size looking or chunks, bigger chunks. Yep. And then they just let the whiskey run through it. Now one of them, and I can't remember if Jack Daniels does, 
lets it run through it right out of the distillation. Right. And whereas uh, the other one lets it go through after it's coming out of barrels. Just makes it too intense. But it's maple, it's it's sweet, you can tell. Could this be a whiskey intended for rocks, like ice? I kind of want to find out, but I, the ice is all the way downstairs. I don't think that, you know, here's the thing. I don't think ice or temperature disguises bitterness. And so if that's the case, then it wouldn't matter. And I know that's true because you can taste bitters in a cocktail. Right, so I'm... You're adding water. I'm adding water. All right. So this is uh, only 42% alcohol. So for the amount of whiskey... They already watered it down. For the amount of whiskey I have left, I actually added a lot of water. I'm just going to do one. I added one and a half. Got more banana. Yeah, it's uh, same flavors. Just a little bit more water down. I got a little bit more banana than I got the first time. Like Laffy Taffy banana. Mm. It's just really... The yellow one with the jokes on the inside. This is... Um, this reminds me of, in terms of sweet tarts, the French whiskey. The Brienne? Was that it? Yeah. But that was super the, cherry the, candy. It's over there. Bryn. Bryn. Yeah. So, um, you guys are still, we're still letting the poll run because it usually takes a couple of days oh, yeah. for the poll, for all of the views to catch up. So, right, it'll take 48 to 72 hours for one of our videos to start to level out on view count. Reminder, in the description, there's five stories that we picked out that are just pretty damn good whiskey stories. Some mm -hmm. mooginess in there. From yesterday's video. Yeah, from yesterday's video. Popping up right now on the screen is a poll. It's in the corner, there's a little thing you can click on, and you can choose which of the five stories you prefer. Um, it's not gonna pause the video, so you can yeah. click on the poll. Okay, so here's the thing though. Whoever whoever wins the poll actually gets the Fitzgerald. Wait, 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 no. So here's the thing. It's illegal for us to mail whiskey. Oh, no, we're, yes. So there's definitely no way we would ever mail whiskey no. to anyone. We'll figure out some other thing. Now, we do have, uh, if you remember the Whiskey Mooch video, there was a tube sock mooched. Right. And everyone knows, this is science, right. that tube socks come in pairs. Yeah. So we have another tube sock mooched from Brian Rushwood's garage. The other pair. There's the other side of the tube sock. The other. Right? We can definitely mail the winner a tube sock. We are mail- yes. And the funny thing about tube socks is- And shoes, really. And shoes, really. I mean, just things kind of- it's easy for something to fall inside of a tube sock. Let's just, if you grew up in Texas, it's always important, if, especially if you're camping, yeah. that before you put on your socks and shoes, yeah. you check them. Right. To make sure there's nothing in them. Right. So, because this is coming- Safety from first. From Texas, whoever wins uh, the poll, just, you know, check the tube sock, check the shoes, just, you know- Because you don't want to put your foot in a sock and end up jamming your toes on something. Safety. There were two scorpions in my office today. That's true. Just helping you out here. Yeah. That was Thank actually, you first. That was actually true. All right. We got any comments? <laughs> yeah, we got some comments. Dribble, dribble. Dribble, dribble. Yep. Daniel is great. Yes! But Rex, with that majestic mane. Wait a minute. Now you're just making it up. And mythical necklace. Oh, he's not making it up! <laughs> is the glue that binds. <laughs> the majestic mane. It was probably the first time your hair has ever been referred to as a majestic mane. This is pretty mane -y. Except by you, maybe. You guys could review broccoli florets and I'd still watch. We should review block broccoli florets. <laughs> like, like three different brands. This one, it's... It's, it's, it's H-E-B brand. It's microwave. It's friendly, but not boring. It's microwavable. <laughs> this is a medley. A medley is, you know, it's like the blend of vegetable families. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is a blended vegetable. Here's what I need you to do for me. <laughs> You've given me so much candy. Yeah. I'm feeling a little diabetic. We so, need something we need something to uh You're giving me diabetes glass. with, the, with okay, this. Okay, well you're gonna have to tell them a story while I go get you a whiskey. I'm Keep gonna them read, entertained. No, no, I'm gonna read you a comic. That's is that yours? You can have that. I know I can have that. <laughs> uh Reuben Russell. Hello, Daniel and Rex. Hello, Reuben. I would like some advice regarding whiskey. I started drinking whiskey via Lagavulin a while ago. He started with Lagavulin. I know. Well done, you. That's impressive. Uh, I have recently decided to try some new types and have, and have landed on Glenfiddich 21. Yeah, it's classic. And for me, this, till, this kills two birds with one and stone. And expensive. By introducing me to Glenfiddich and completing a goal of drinking a whiskey older than I am. I would like to know if this would be a good choice to go for and do you have any other recommendations to expand my variety? Any other besides the Glenfiddich? Nah, That's I, already a good one. I just said, um... 
Man, if he likes both Glenfiddich and Lagavulin, yep. there's not a scotch in the world he's not going to love. Yeah, yeah. There's just, you're just going to love all of them. The I world... mean, you may have a hard time with the Campbelltown whiskeys, but there's every other one you'll probably be fine. Uh, Glen Farkless, man. Yeah, I think I what I said was. Did you say Glen Farkless? Okay. Yeah. Um, I and love I also, Glenfiddich. you know, get some more complicated. Get some Oban. Get some Talisker. Get some Aaron. Yeah. Uh, get some a little more complicated. Get Highland Park. You know, get Ooh. the classics. Highland Park Twelve. Okay, I've got yeah. a gift for the Mooch. So last week, the Ardbeg Committee release Scotch came out. And it's, hey, you're making me not want to give this to you. You're going to anyways. <sighs> you know what? Because it's video. If this, if it wasn't being recorded, he would say, like, screw you, I'm done. It's yeah, I want to just put it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is Ardbeg Kelpie. Dude, I've never even heard of this. The committee release. What is, now this is the one that they released to the general public, not the one that was a limited first come first serve I edition. feel like I should rinse out my glass. No, here. you absolutely need to rinse out that glass because right. this is an amazing damn. We'll do a video on this one at some point. This is a freaking awesome whiskey. Kelpie. And What's the story we're not going? even going to put this in the reviews of cameos. Nah, we will. We'll put it in the cameo. Sure. Why? Is the it Mooch cameo. Is it super rare or something? I was going to put it in your Mooch class. Mm -mm. Too dangerous. You want it to have its own glass? Yes. This is just standby whiskey on the glass here. This. Our big Kelpie. Mm. No, so exciting. What's the story behind the Kelpie? What's with it's the... just a, they, they regularly release special editions and they name them after different things. As deep as the sea that surrounds us is the Kelpie. As far as the east is from the west. I can't finish that one. Yeah. <laughs> that means you're drunk and you should give me your... <laughs> no. You had too many. I'm so not drunk. I know. We really do tiny microscopic pours. Safety first. That is the most delicious campfire ever. Come had. on, right? Yeah. Okay, so sorry, Orphan Barrel, sorry, Dickel. Don't mean to crap all over your whiskey, but it doesn't hold a candle for our preferences to art beg. Yeah, no, it is campfire whiskey. It's um, savory. Savory. Uh, not barbecue meaty, but there's just some oiliness in there that saturates the mouth. The, 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 the smoke and the grass and the salt. All mixed together really nicely. Mm. Takes me right up to the edge of uh, too much, and, and then, then backs uh, off. Yeah, it knows your safe word. I think that's called re. <laughs> that's what it looks like in liquid form. In liquid form, that's the re. I'm trying to end the, note, the video on a classy note. <laughs> that's not my job. That's not we discussed this. Yeah, I'm the classy part. That's of all the you, man. I'm not bringing. It's really depressing. <laughs> You're counting on me for class. <laughs> All right, well, till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side illegal. May you return if you enjoy the re- <laughs> Can we do that? I don't know. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.